Welcome to the channel and welcome to The Big Build. Now we are getting on brilliantly here at The Big Build. The sun is shining, it's a little cold, but we're quite happy. And we are actually just about to do internal stud partitioning now that we've got all the insulation done to the shell. And even though there's no heating yet, our body heat seems to warm this up a bit like a flask, a thermos flask. So what we've done in preparation is Ed has made all of our ladder frames. Now these walls are just positioned here loose, so he's made them all up in one go. And then we have a tilting fillet, which is a fixing fillet, which actually gets fixed through to the rafters. So we drive a screw through into the rafters. That effectively clamps everything tight and then we use a datum to pull the wall parallel and true, and then we plumb it all down and that effectively fix it. Now, quite often in a roof construction or loft conversion, these void walls, or you might call them ashlar walls, these void walls are structural. And if you've watched some of the previous episodes, I've spoken about how I designed this roof to enable me to add these walls afterwards. So they were a partition element, not a structural element. And the reason for that was to get this beautiful continuation of insulation from the ridge all the way down to the wall plate, coming back to the thermos flask. So the whole envelope is not compromised. What sometimes happens is PIR starts from here between the rafters up to the ceiling and under the rafters. And then PIR sometimes goes in the stud wall and then sometimes they put insulation, you know, normal rock wall type insulation in that bit of floor. So what you get there is a mixture of different insulations. They all behave slightly differently. What I prefer is a continuous insulation uh, module, if you like, from wall plate to ridge and then the whole envelope is perfect. Now, we can run services inside, it's the warm side, we can run cables there, we can put down lighters anywhere we want in the ceiling, so it's a good thing. So what we're gonna do is get on, fix all these studs in. I've also got a really nice little detail as well I'll show you on the other side. So where we're having a wall which is gonna create this bedroom and effectively the stairwell here, there's going to be a door coming into here. What we do is we get some ground, so these are, this last skin is 25 mil, so we've got some sort of 75 by 25 here, and we just basically knife, knife them in, remove the insulation, fix them in the rafters. We'll tape these up with the silver foil tape, we'll plasterboard all the way over, then we know where they are because we've marked three datums. I will show you, it's a little bit mad, but we've leveled three datums here. That one, this one, and that one. And that represents where they are because once you put your plasterboard up, you can't see them. We'll just whack the laser around. And when we put our wall plates in for the stud work, we know exactly where to fix them. Now, you can build your walls before your plasterboard, but I like to have my plasterboard running through. It saves time. It's a better job. It, you know, the, the plates for the walls hold everything together. And guess what? If you ever want to remove the walls, change things around, you've got your ceiling boards going all the way through. So we'll do the ceiling boards on there. We'll put the ceiling boards across the top. Then we'll build the wall. And then it's really nice, saves a lot of time, and it's a much nicer job. So we're going to get on, get this lock fixed through the bottom here. These long ladders that Ed has already made here. Ed's filming. That's why you can't see him, but we'll set the thing on a tripod. We'll get these one fixed. So we have, we have a couple of guns set up. Now the beauty of this technique is, this tilting fillet here is the first bit we fix. We just push that in, make sure it's not too far past our corner. Let's just take that back that way a little bit. There we go. We have fixed that in. We know where our rafters are. We've drawn all those on. Stick a couple of long screws, slight angle upwards. Yep. So we're pulling and pushing into there. That's it, that's good. And what that's doing is clamping it all real tight. Um, I think go one in each end, one in the middle, just for now. And then what we'll do is we'll get that all the way fixed through. That's lovely, guys. Give it a good push. You see, you see how when you tighten it up, you're pulling it in. Yeah and it's giving us a really nice tight jamming. 
That's lovely. Do I on this side? Right over here, like that. And the good thing is, all that's doing is clamping, you know? And it holds everything lovely and tight. To get, get that one fixed through, I'll get the level. Now what we're doing is we're leveling this up with that. You can see it's absolutely perfect. up the screws in to hold it and then we'll straighten the rest up. And then what we'll do I'll oh, just pinch it there and we'll get yours plumbed up. Let's fix these together here as well because they can go together now. do is I've just pinched this here, I've got a screw there, I've got a screw there and I'm plumbed down through my window. We're going to get the other one, the other window in the same pot and then we'll pull the whole thing through straight. All right, so if we plumb up the very side of the window there, let's say this one here, and then we'll pull him out until we get to there. It. Hold on a second. Yeah, it looks good. Now, if you get one into the. That's it. Just pinch it into there. That's right, it won't go right through the floor. Go close to there. That's it. Yeah, that's good. Now, all we need to do is check two things. We'll just measure off our floor in here because we're nice and true with that. 337. Three, check that back over here to see if it runs in a similar place. Three, three, yeah, it's about, three, is it, it's about exactly right. So we can pretty much go with that now then. Three, three, seven. And that's it, pull that out. Three, three, seven, put a mark there. That is a lovely job. Yes, yeah, so if you just start in the very end, yeah. fix the bottom, then plumb it up, and that'll be absolutely spot on. It's pretty damn good. There we go.
Nice. I'm going to sight it through as well, Ed. Yep. Most important bit. Right, try fixing him there. That's it. Great. And now we are ready to do the rest of it. So, that was an easy way of fixing the walls. Make them up first, downstairs like ladders, cut all the studs the same way, put the angle fillet in, screw that, clamp that, stand the wall, plumb it up, jobs are good. Happy days. Cool.